welcome students welcome in the kumbhasa class of physics dear students in the previous videos we study what is the kinetic theory of gases how the pressure is calculated of the ideal gas how the root mean square velocity is calculated now in this video we study what is the radiation how the radiation is studied to study the radiation following definitions are used before that in the 11th standard we study the heat is one type of energy and we know that any type of energy always transfer from one point to the another point that means light travels from one point to the another point electricity again this is one type of energy it transfer from one point to the another point sound this is one type of energy also travels from one point to the another point similarly heat also heat also transfer from one point to the another point that means to transfer the heat there are three modes of transfer of heat means to transfer the heat following three ways are used or the following three modes are used the first is conduction now what is a conduction conduction this is a mode of transfer of heat in which molecules do not transfer from one point to the another point molecules not migrate from one point to the another point but it transfer energy from one point to the another point that means the transfer of energy from one point to the another point without actual migration of the particles of the medium such a type of transfer of heat is called as conduction i repeat the definition the transfer of heat from one point to the another point without actual migration of the particles of the medium is called as conduction now physics says that what is conduction and what are their examples the one example of conduction is when we heat one end of the metallic rod other end becomes automatically hot this is best example of conduction now we study what is a convection heating of water this is best example of convection cyclone produced in the weather in the surrounding this is again best example of convection pumping of heart circulation of blood in the human body this is again best of example of convection that means what is a convection convection is a transfer of heat from one point to the another point due to actual migration of the particles of the medium now the third one we study the radiation and this is nothing but the our topic now what is the radiation transfer of energy transfer of heat from one point to the another point without any medium due to electromagnetic waves is called as radiation i repeat the definition transfer of energy from one point to the another point transfer of heat from one point to the another point due to the electromagnetic waves such a transfer of heat is called as radiation we know that dear students sun is the best source of electromagnetic waves and this electromagnetic waves do not require material medium for their propagation here light always travels from one point to the another point this is due to the electromagnetic waves ir this is the best example we know that heat radiation are the infrared rays this is the best example of radiation it do not transfer sorry it transfer energy from one point to the another point there is a not a requirement of medium now this was we study conduction convection and radiation now in this chapter we study radiation how the radiations are radiated in the surrounding how it is a major what is a black body how the black body radiate 
the energy how it is measured to study this radiation now we study the following three important definition i going to study the definition we consider the one example let us consider there is a one object let us consider this is the chalk or duster or the any object now the q is amount of heat radiation incident on that object we know that we know that this heat q used in a three ways small amount of heat radiation are reflected from the surface of that body small amount of heat radiation are absorbed by that body and small amount of heat radiation are transmitted to that body that means the q is amount of heat radiation incident on a body then this total q is used in a three ways or it is the sum of three heat radiation that means it is used in a three ways one is q a small amount of heat radiation are absorbed by the body plus q r small amount of heat radiation are reflected from that body plus q t is a small amount of heat radiation transmitted to that body means q a plus q r plus q t is totally equals to capital q now this is total q is heat incident on that body now how it is measured to measure the following coefficients are used now first the coefficient of absorption now what is the coefficient of absorption the coefficient of absorption is denoted by small e and it is a ratio of amount of heat radiation absorbed by the body q e to amount of heat radiation incident on that body this ratio is called as coefficient of absorption i repeat the definition the amount of heat radiation absorbed by the body divided by amount of heat radiation incident on that body is called as coefficient of absorption or absorptivity it has no unit no dimension because it is a ratio of same physical quantity now we find the second definition what is the coefficient of reflection again the same coefficient of reflection is denoted by small r now what is the coefficient of reflection what is the reflectivity reflectivity or the coefficient of reflection this is the ratio of amount of heat radiation reflected from the body to the total heat radiation incident on that body similarly what is the coefficient of transmission the coefficient of transmission it is a ratio of amount of heat radiation transmitted to that body to the total heat radiation incident on that body now by the three definition we obtain one important equation we know that the qa plus qr plus qt is equals to total heat incident on this object now divide this equation by q we get qa upon q qa upon q plus qr upon q plus qt upon q is equals to q upon q hence q upon q it is equals to 1 qa upon q is nothing but the coefficient of absorption put this value here means this is replaced by coefficient of absorption again we know that qr upon q is nothing but the coefficient of reflection hence a plus r again we know that qt upon q is nothing but the coefficient of transmission hence this ratio is replaced by t hence we say that the coefficient of absorption plus coefficient of reflection plus coefficient of transmission its sum 
always 1. Hence, 1 is equal to A plus R plus T. Now, dear students, we study another two important definitions to study the different substance. Generally, to study the heat, substances are divided into two types. One is athermanous substances and second is diathermanous substances. Now, physics says that what is a diathermanous substances? Definition the substance which transmit heat radiation through heat. Such a substance is called as diathermanous substances. I repeat the definition the substance which transmit heat radiation through heat. Such a substance is called as diathermanous substances. Now, gases, quartz crystal, glass, these are the best example of diathermanous substances. Now, what is the athermanous substance? The substance which do not transmit, do not transmit heat radiation through heat. Such a substance is called as athermanous substances. Metals like a copper, wood are the best example of athermanous substance which do not transmit heat radiation through heat. Dear students, now question for you. Define coefficient of absorption. Define coefficient of reflection. Define coefficient of transmission. Also define athermanous substances and diathermanous substances with their examples. Now, from this definition, so that for a diathermanous substances, for the diathermal substances, coefficient of transmission is greater. But for the substances, the coefficient of transmission T is equal to 0. Means coefficient of absorption and the coefficient of reflection is equal to 1. Because T is equal to 0 from this equation. Dear students, now we study what is a perfect black body. Mitrona Pata Shikai said, Ki perfect black body with the car. Upon Patimagi Pahilo, Kikai, Ki Jama Ponte, he body work, Q reheat per day, Tavila, the Q E reheat, Tin Prakari Vipaglizate, QR, Thurishi heat reflect Kelizate, QT. थोड़ी सी हीट ट्रांसमिट के लिए जाते हैं क्यों ये थोड़ी सी हीट एब्सोर्ब के लिए जाते हैं मतलब साइंस का प्रश्न बढ़ला कि जास्ते जास्ते हीट एब्सोर्ब करना रही बॉडी कैसे डिफाइन कराएं जी क्यों कौन सी बॉडी जास्ते जास्ते हीट एब्सोर्ब करता है मतलब तीसरा स्टडी स्टडी हो दस्ता ना साइंस ने स्टडी कि what is a perfect black body? The body which absorbs all heat radiations which are incident on heat. We throw jury heat a kind of body over there. To be served with a server heat, the body absorbs the same. The third body of the jigs in the day. Perfect black body assumed. For a perfect black body, coincident of absorption is always one. Means the coefficient of transmission and the coefficient of reflection is equal to 1. And the perfect black body servo just servo heat absorb karu shakta. But science again discovered that the perfect black body does not exist in the nature. Nature the perfect black body exists na yet. Mukashi nirvan karaji. Mathesati. This is name of the scientist. To discover the Perry's black body. Now, Perry, this is the name of the scientist who discovered the lamp black and the platinum black. These are the two substances. 
what are the properties of that substance generally the lamp black absorb 96% heat radiations which are incident on it and the platinum black absorb 94% heat radiations which are incident heat on it now the peri discovered the peri's black body now question ask for examination explain in letters peri's black body with a neat label diagram for two marks and answer is that peri's black body is two wall sphere means it has two walls this is the outer wall and this is the inner wall now the spacing between these two walls is always evaluated to arrive conduction convection and radiation now the outer surface of the peri's sphere or the peri's black body is well coated with nickel or chromium or stainless steel hence the radiations incident from a surrounding not enters in the sphere there is a reflection of us now the inner surface of this peri's black body is well coated with lamp black or platinum black which absorb maximum heat radiations now there is a one conical projection means there is a cone due to this conical projection incident heat radiations gives multiple reflections now there is a one aperture or hole through which heat radiations are incident in the peri's black body this incident radiations are incident on a conical projection due to this conical projection there is a not a reflection directly out of the sphere here this incident radiations takes place multiple reflection number of reflection after number of reflection inside the body all heat radiations are absorbed means this incident radiation is initially incident on the conical projection then this substance this layer which is coated inside the sphere which absorbs maximum heat remaining heat is reflected in the body and it is incident at that point again this point or this substance absorbs maximum heat remaining heat is reflected that means all heat radiations are absorbed by the body this is a brief explanation regarding the peri's black body now what is the effective area of the peri's black body effective area of the peri's black body is nothing but the effective area of the hole or aperture mitran इफेक्टिव एरिया को ब्लैक बॉडी का सर्व या सर्व आर मध्य कोटिंग के एरिया इफेक्टिव एरिया का तो नहीं तथा जे एपर्चर है होल है छोटस ज्यादा जास्ती जास्त शीट रेडिशन आत मधे जता पर माघारी ये नहीं अभी जी एरिया मैक्सिम एरिया ऑफ द होल क्या एरिया फिजिक्स मध्य इफेक्टिव एरिया ऑफ द फेरीज ब्लैक बॉडी अस मनता Now this effective area or this peri's black body absorb maximum heat radiation because the coefficient of absorption for lamp black or platinum black is nearly equal to one. Good day, dear students. Mitra, no. अपन पाल की फेरीज ब्लैक बॉडी मे का जी बॉडी मैक्सिम हिट रेडिशन एब्सॉर्ब करते फेरीज ब्लैक बॉडी परफेक्ट ब्लैक बॉडी मग साइंस प्रश्न पड़ा कि परफेक्ट ब्लैक बॉडी सा कोई ऑफ एब्सॉर्शन जर वन तो 
ती बॉडी फक्त ऍब्सॉर्बच हिट करते का तर नाही ल्युमर आणि प्रिंक्शन नावाचे सायंटिस्ट पुढे झाले किंवा भरपूर सायंटिस्ट असे पुढे झाले आणि त्यांनी डिस्कवरी मांडली किंवा सायन्स डिस्कवरी मांडली की खूप चांगली ऍब्सॉर्ब करणारी बॉडी ही खूप चांगली इमिटर असते म्हणजे सायन्सचा प्रश्न पडला की इमिशनचा रेट कसा मेजर करायचा म्हणजे एखादी बॉडी हिट रॅडिएट करते मग ते रेडिएशन कसं मेजर करायचं म्हणजे इमिशनचा रेट कसा मेजर करायचा मग त्यासाठी आपल्याला इथे तीन डेफिनेशन शिकायचे आहे पहिली डेफिनेशन आपल्याला शिकायची आहे की व्हॉट इज इमिसिव्ह पॉवर ऑफ एनी बॉडी ऑर ऑर्डिनरी बॉडी मित्रांनो खूप इम्पॉर्टंट डेफिनेशन आहे पण कारण आपल्याला माहित आहे की प्रिवोच दिस इज नेम ऑफ द सायंटिस्ट हु डिस्कवर्ड दॅट इच अँड एव्हरी बॉडी ऑफ युनिवर्स इम इमिट ही ट्रेडिशन ॲट ऑल टाइम्स अँड द ऑल टेम्परेचर युनिवर्स मधली कोणतीही बॉडी कोणत्याही टायमिंगला आणि कोणत्याही टेम्परेचरला काय करते कंटिन्युअसली हीट रॅडिएट करते म्हणजे तुम्ही मी पृथ्वी सण इथं असलेलं डस्टर मोबाईल चॉक डेक्स ब्लॅकबोर्ड मून हे खूप चांगले ऍब्सॉर्बर आणि खूप चांगले इमिटर आहे म्हणजे हीट रॅडिएट करतात मग हीट रॅडिएट करत असेल तर त्याचं मेजरमेंट कसं करायचं म्हणून त्याच्यासाठी डेफिनेशन व्हॉट इज इमिसिव्ह पॉवर इमिसिव्ह पॉवर इन द फिजिक्स डिनोटेड बाय कॅपिटल ई ऑर कॅपिटल आर इन द न्यू सिलेबस इट इज रिप्रेझेंटेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॅपिटल आर इन द प्रिव्हियस इयर्स इट इज रिप्रेझेंटेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॅपिटल मिनिंग ऑफ बोथ सेम नो व्हॉट इज इमिसिव्ह पॉवर इमिसिव्ह पॉवर ऑफ एनी बॉडी इज डिफाइंड ॲज लेट अस कन्सिडर दिस इज अ बॉडी which emit the heat radiation in the space then the amount of heat radiation emitted by the body per unit area per unit time is called as emissive power of that body i repeat i repeat the definition again what is the emissive power emissive power of any body is defined as amount of heat radiation emitted by the body per unit area per unit time this is a for ordinary body similarly we explain we define the emissive power of perfect black body now emissive power of perfect black body is defined as amount of heat radiation emitted by the body per unit area of the perfect black body per unit time means eb is equals to emissive power of perfect black body is equals to q upon area of the body divided by time hence the unit of emissive power is defined as joule area is measured in terms of meter square and timing is measured in terms of second hence joule meter joule per meter square per second this is a unit of emissive power and another unit is joule per second is also called as watt Hence, the watt per meter square. This is another unit of emissive power. Mitra, now we have emissive power ordinary body. Chipahili, emissive power perfect black body. Chipahili. That is science. Now, first of all, that these two emissive powers are comparison. The last time, we have done it. Standard or what? Can we understand? Manu. इमिसिव पॉवर ऑफ परफेक्ट ब्लॅक बॉडी ही स्टँडर्ड इमिशन रेट म्हणून समजली जाते म्हणजे ती बॉडी मॅक्सिमम हिट रॅडिएट करते असं समजलं जातं आणि तिच्याशी कोणत्याही ऑर्डिनरी बॉडीचं इमिशनचा रेट कम्पेअर केला जातो आता हे कम्पेअर करणं किंवा रेशो फाइंड आउट करणं म्हणजेच आपल्याला नेक्स्ट डेफिनेशन भेटते व्हॉट इज अ कोइपिसेंट ऑफ इमिशन कोइपिसेंट ऑफ इमिशन 
कोना बनाए सो तो कोई भी सिंटो इमिशन ऑफ एनी बॉडी इज डिफाइन्ड आस इट इज अ रेशो ऑफ इमिशन पावर ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी बॉडी टू इमिशन पावर ऑफ परफेक्ट ब्लैक बॉडी this is the ratio of same physical quantity hence it has no unit no dimensions and the another definition of coefficient of emission small e amount of heat radiations emitted by the body per unit area per unit time divided by amount of heat radiations emitted by the perfect black body per unit area per unit time is also called as coefficient of emission and this coefficient of emission is equals to e equals e upon eb or r upon rb now physics says that for a perfect black body coefficient of emission is equals to E B upon E B means one. Coefficient of emission for a perfect black body E is equals to one. मित्रों ये जानते हैं आपने पढ़ी शिक्षण ना हो कि perfect black body खूब सारे absorber से तत्ती खूब सारे emitter सुधार से मतलब heat emit करते से तत्ती emit के लिए heat major कशी कराज मुन्न ल्यूमर और क्रिंशियम आउट जो दोनों साइंटिस्ट पूरा लग अन्य तेंदी का इक्कलन तर ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन स्पेक्ट्रम मान लो मंजे कौन-ती ही बॉडी खूब सांगली एब्सोर्बर असे तर ती खूब सांगली इमिटर असे ती इमिट के लिए नहीं जी रेडिएशन है क्या रेडिएशन ची फ्रीक्वेंसी नहीं बेवलेट विथ रिस्पेक्ट � वेग वेग या टेम्परेचर लाते हैं नेचर करने से पहले क्या ला अंतर नहीं एक्सप्लेन किया लो ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन स्पेक्ट्रम आप लोग लंतर चिकन से कि ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन स्पेक्ट्रम मंजे का है गुड डे डिस्ट्रेस नाउ मिस्टरी बर मेक चार्टिकल इन द सेम वीडियो what is the black body radiation spectrum? Mitra no, you have to say that spectral distribution of black body radiation is the same as the two of us. I mean, we have to find out that which black body is the same as the absorber and the same as the immediate as the heat radiate. Radiate is the heat ल्यूमर ने प्रिंशन मांगा था दोनों साइंटिस्ट ने खूब दिवस स्टडी करो फ्रीक्वेंसी जैसे रूप में दे वेवलेंथ जैसे रूप में दे रिप्रेंट करो कैलकुलेट करो आने के साथ ग्राफ करो तो ग्राफ काय वर्सेस काय है तो तो ग्राफ पावर रेडिएटेड बाय द परफेक्ट ब्लैक बॉडी वेग वेग या आने कांस्टेंट मेजर के लिए कशे जरूर स्पेंड तर त्यां बॉडी ने रेडिएट के लिए दिया रेडिएशन चाह बिल्डिंग चाह स्पेक्ट तो मेजर में अपने लिए तो शिकायत से आ अंतर जी कैरेस्टिक भी भी आ डिस्ट्रूड ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन स्पेक्टर व्हिच इज़ द डिस्कवरी ऑफ ल्यूमर एंड प्रिंशन ल्यूमर एंड प्रिंशन इज द नेम who discovered black body radiation spectrum and this is the black body radiation spectrum is graph of radiation power emitted by the perfect black body power radiated by the perfect black body versus different wavelength emitted by the body at different but constant temperature मंजिल हाँ कि आप तीन फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज़ आए पर पावर रेडिएटेड वेग वेग रे कांस्टेंट टेम्परेचर आई क्या से पॉडी ने इमिट के लिए आप भेज दें बट क्या ये वाला जो भेज दिया ग्राफ है तो आशा प्रकार सा आस्तु अब कैसे एक्सप्लेनेशन कहाँ है क्या रिश्ते कहाँ हैं टिकरी में बोलते हैं 
तर आपल्याला असं भेटेल की हा ग्राफ सुरुवातीला एकच ग्राफ मी फक्त स्टडी करतोय बा मित्रांनो दिस इज अ स्पेक्ट्रम हिअर लॅमडा ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस पावर ऑन द वाय एक्सिस अँड कॉन्स्टंट टेम्परेचर Initially consider the temperature of the black body is 300 Kelvin. Then it shows Halloween observation. Now this graph is a not an uniform graph. Important test cap of Mitrano. Black body radiation spectrum. This is a graph between power radiated by the perfect black body versus wavelength of that radiation at different constant temperature. But it gives a first clarity. This graph is not a uniform means initially initially at constant temperature radiation shows increasing power increasing power increasing radiation power with respect to increasing wavelength means as wavelength increases power radiated by the perfect black body also increases up to the peak point this peak point he used maximum wavelength emitted by that body at that temperature that temperature that that body na emit kelele jasti jast the wavelength ji ahe tya point par ya power vadat vadat jate ani tyanantar ti decrease hot jate after that it is goes on decreasing dear students it goes on decreasing and initially the power radiated by the perfect black body goes on increasing with increasing wavelength after that it goes on decreasing and it gives maximum wavelength emitted by the perfect black body and this perfect this maximum wavelength is denoted by lambda one at a constant temperature 3000 kelvin now further increase the temperature of the black body at 4000 kelvin again it shows here power radiated by the perfect black body goes on increasing up to the peak point as wavelength increases power radiated also increases up to the peak point again it is goes on decreasing now similarly for the third graph power increases up to the peak point as wavelength increases after the it shows further increasing wavelength there is a decrease in power same concept occurs with the four graph at four different temperatures shuruvatila vaadte nantar ti kami ho jata ज्या ठिकाणी ती मॅक्सिमम असते त्या वेवलेंथला फिजिक्स मध्ये मॅक्सिमम वेवलेंथ इमिटेड बाय द परफेक्ट बॅक बॉडी ऍट दॅट टेम्परेचर असं म्हटलं जातं म्हणजे लॅमडा वन लॅमडा टू लॅमडा थ्री लॅमडा फोर हे त्या त्या टेम्परेचर मॅक्सिमम वेवलेंथ त्या बॉडीने टाकलेले असते दुसरी कॅशी काय पा ऍट ए गिवन टेम्परेचर पॉवर इन्क्रीजेस विथ इन्क्रीजिंग वेवलेंथ पॉवर इन्क्रीजेस with increasing wavelength after that it is goes on decreasing manje doni graph ni explain kele hai doni kashti explain kele hai is the power increases with increasing wavelength up to the peak point after that after that power decreases with increasing wavelength wavelength kithi vadte wavelength kithi vadte and power decrease ho jata now third graph shows area under the curve curve cha aadhare जो एरिया आहे एरिया अंडर द क रिप्रेझेंट रिप्रेझेंट टोटल एनर्जी इमिटेड बाय द बॉडी पर युनिट एरिया पर युनिट टाइम आय रिपीट अगेन एरिया अंडर द क व्हिच इज डिस्कवर्ड बाय द ह्युमर अँड ड्रिंक शेप डिस्क्राइब टोटल एनर्जी इमिटेड बाय द बॉडी पर युनिट एरिया पर युनिट टाइम in the fourth definition or fourth case is the thing but the wheels displacement law what is explain what it explain explain 
the dictionary it is also that as as temperature increases maximum wavelength emitted by the perfect black body it is shifting towards the minimum wavelength mitran kay karte pa 3000 kelvin la lambda var betla to jasti jasta parantu 4000 kelvin la tos lambda max lambda var peksha lahan hai small hai small punna 4000 kelvin peksha temperature 5000 kelvin vadu hota hai temperature vadu bolo परंतु मैक्सिम वेवले With increasing temperature, that means lambda max is inversely proportional to absolute temperature. As the temperature increases, temperature increases, lambda max shifting towards minimum wavelength. This is the Weiss displacement law. Dear students, these are the important characteristics. which is discovered by lumer and friction that means this is a brief explanation regarding the black body radiation spectrum mitran tumcha sathi ho mok mone questions kya define coefficient of emission define emissive power and third question sarvanch sathi mitrano kya explain in details black body radiation spectrum which is discovered by lumer and friction mitrano punna do marks the question vichara jato define weiss displacement law or explain in details weiss displacement law now what is the weiss displacement law the maximum wavelength emitted by the perfect black body or power radiated by the perfect black body is inversely proportional to absolute temperature i repeat the definition regarding to the weiss displacement law it is also that the maximum wavelength emitted by the perfect black body in terms of power is inversely proportional to absolute temperature this is the weiss displacement law means the maximum wavelength emitted by the perfect black body is always inversely proportional to absolute temperature now to remove the proportionality there is a one constant is used here, and this constant is called as weiss constant Hence, the lambda max maximum wavelength here maximum wavelength which is shifting towards the minimum wavelength in this graph is equals to B upon T. Now B is a constant or Weiss constant and it is equals to 2.897 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter per kelvin. सॉरी मीटर केल्विन फुल स्टॉप